I think we can all appreciate the difference between straight size, plus size, it's not that confusing, right? But what I have noticed is in certain things at Walmart, and this could be the same in other stores, I honestly don't know, but I just thought this was an interesting experiment. They would have some stuff, specifically this is the juniors department, generally seeing this with no boundaries, that would go up to size 21. You know, it starts at like a zero and it goes up to a size 21. And then I would also notice that the plus size, the W where it's at the end of the number, starts at much lower than a 21. So specifically in the instances where there's overlap, I find it particularly confusing. So for example, you're gonna be looking at a pair of the same exact jeans, but there's the straight size and then there's the plus size. Okay, well then what is the difference between 17 and juniors or even a 19 and juniors? What is the kind of the cut difference and which one should we all be wearing, particularly when there's overlap? I have two sets of jeans here, one that has stretch in them and ones that don't have stretch in them. So come along with me on this experiment. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a wild ride. The first jeans that I'm comparing here make so much more sense in terms of what you would think they would look like side by side, but just wait until the next pair, which is the no stretch. These here are a size 17 regular. I feel like I shouldn't say straight size. I feel like I should say regular size because then I was looking up straight size and I feel like it's only zero to eight. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, regular size. And I feel like this is my true size. They fit fine. You can sort of see that my bootay, they dip because I do have a big old booty and they're a little bit tighter on my thighs, but I'd say they fit my waist just fine. Same pair of jeans, same size, but the plus size version of a 17. For me, the big difference here is I feel like there's a little bit more room on the bootay. Like as you can see, it doesn't dip like it dipped in the 17 regular. And I feel like there's a little bit more room on my thighs. Not not in a bad way. I would say that these fit really just as well. It's a little bit of a different fit, so it sort of depends what you're going for. For me, the 17 regular would be more of trying to look really cute with a tighter jean kind of a thing, where these are a jean that I want to wear as running errands with sneakers, <laughs> meaning they're more comfortable because with it going higher up on the butt like that and not being as tight on my thighs, even though the waist is eh, about the same, I would argue that the 17 plus in, in the these here would actually be my true size that I didn't know was my true size. And here we have an actual side-by-side. -side. I wanted to make sure for each one I was doing that comparison. You are able to see exactly what I was talking about. And I would argue probably the left side, the regular, maybe they're slightly more slimming on me. And I think that's because they're doing something for my thighs and my butt. I think that's the only reason. Here we are with the 19 regular. It's similar on the waist, a little bit bigger, but the big big difference is it's looser on the leg. You can still see that dip in the back. So it's not providing as much boote relief as the plus size version. 19 plus, you can see the legs get a little bit wider. I just want to point that out. I know I mentioned the thigh got wider, but take a look at the bottom of the jeans. In general, they're looking slightly more wide leg even on the calf in the plus size. This one is just bigger all around. So the last one, I I felt like it was sort of similar in the waist, a little bit bigger. This is even bigger on the waist and definitely giving me that same relief that the 17 plus gave me in the booty area as well as the thigh area. And these obviously fit, but they're probably way too much of a slouchy style jean for me, even if they're not necessarily looking like that. I just prefer my stuff a little bit more fitted than this. These would work for me in terms of a true lounge jean because they do have lots of room in them, but they don't look ridiculously oversized size by any means. The 19 side by side, again, to reiterate, I think the biggest difference is definitely the butt. With it dipping down like that, you can really see it. Definitely is contouring my butt a little bit more too. On the left, I feel like my butt has a shape. The one on the right, it's just sort of doing nothing for my butt. Again, if you're using it as a slouchy jean, who cares? Plus size is generally looking a little bit more high waist effect because not pulling and tugging on the butt like that because there's just clearly more room for or a booty in the plus size version. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That helps out me and my channel 
so, so much, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. We're now moving on to the same concept that we just did. However, these don't have stretch in them. So if you're familiar with jeans that don't have stretch, we all know they just fit tighter. You typically have to go a larger size anyway, I guess, especially depending where you carry your weight. I couldn't even get these on. And really, I couldn't get them on to the effect that I really can't analyze much else beyond that. But take a look at the 17 plus. We have reached the most interesting part of the this experiment. It's really, really surprising. Literally too big for me. I just find that to be very, very interesting. I feel like the last comparison with the regular versus the plus made a little bit more sense to me. It's a little bit wider of a leg. It has more room for a booty. It has more room for thighs. But here, the drastic difference is just so shocking to me. Comparing the 17 regular and the 17 plus side by side, the results here completely speak for themselves. As you can see, the one, I literally am so far from even being able to button this, and the other ones are very large to the point where they look too oversized that it's not something that I would personally wear. The difference between these two still shocks me. <laughs> size 19 regular. I feel like I don't have too much to say about these other than the fact that I feel like this is my true size, which does make sense. I feel like I would be exactly one size up from the stretch option. So yeah, I think these fit perfect. Size 19 plus. What we're seeing here is really probably no surprise just considering what the 17 plus looked like. And this is just an even larger version of that. I feel like it is fair to say though that there's a pretty big difference between the same size, meaning the 19 regular and the 19 plus, just like the 17 regular and the 17 plus. Unlike in the stretch version, I feel like it was a pretty negligible difference. This side by side of the 19 regular versus the 19 plus, really no surprise here. The left I would describe as the size I should be wearing, and then the right is clearly way too big for me. It doesn't look flattering in any way. <laughs> you could argue that these jeans are tougher to look flattering as it is, just given what they are, but yeah. I wanted to throw you guys for a loop on this one. So I actually do have this one in sort of a bonus size. I got the size 21. And I feel like this looks probably again how we would think it would. Given that the 19 is my true size in this one, this looks like I'm wearing a pair of pants that, you know, is perhaps, I wouldn't even say a size too big for me because I think the 19 was still a little bit snug just given that they're 100% cotton. I'd say this is a more comfortable version maybe of my true size. <laughs> for this last side-by-side -side comparison, I wanted to take the two that were the most similar and stack them against each other. I just think that that's really interesting. A couple sizes away from each other. And as you can see, the 21 regular is a better fit the way it's hugging my shape. I feel like this was a good exercise because hopefully encourages you to, if you're in the fitting room, take in a couple different sizes. If you are in one of the overlapping size ranges, ranges. I think my conclusion here is in the first pair. I think that the 17 plus is actually a better fit for me than the 17 regular. Without doing this experiment, I would not have known that. I was only ever buying 17 regular or just regular in general. And then I feel like the 19 regular is my best size in the no stretch jeans. Tell me what you thought of this. I found it to be such an interesting journey. I'm honestly so glad that I did this. I really do think it was worth it to take the time to pick these out, do this little experiment. Please give this video a like if you also found it helpful. If you made it all the way till the end of this video, I cannot thank you enough. Please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of overlapping.